Hi, I'm Sassy and I'm from Stockport. I'm 19 and I'm mummy to Zanea Sane and she's one and a half. Since the last series of Team Mum UK, a lot has changed in my life. I've been here, there, everywhere. My life has just been a, an emotional roller coaster, but we're on a steady path now and I'm actually really excited for the future. So since last series, me and Davin was I don't know how to explain it, in a rocky stage, we wasn't together, but we were trying to get back together, but then we didn't want to get back together. He was stupid, I'm forgiving, we moved on, and now we're in a really, really happy place. The biggest change in my life since the last series is my house. I'm not living in a small, cramped flat anymore, and I feel like that's a, ma a major key in my family life, my happiness, everything around me has changed because of my living situation. Personal achievement since series three is definitely getting a full-time job. I never thought I actually had it in me to graft as hard as I do, but I'm proud of myself for that. Zanea, since series three, she's grown a lot in size. She's bigger, she can talk, run, say mummy, no, yeah, bye, wave. She just, I just really love her. So me and the girls from Team Mum UK do speak um, with each other. I mean, I'd say out of all the mums, I speak with Amber a lot more, like on a personal level. Um, but I love all the girls. Series 3 was a really... It was a life changer for me and do you know what, it's actually changed the way I am today because I felt like the grass was always greener on the other side because the only guy I've ever been in a relationship with really on this kind of level is Darren. The best thing about being a mum is just having somebody there that just loves you all the time. Never having any time to yourself. Like when I'm not working I'm home with Zanea, when I'm at home with Zanea and with Darren and Zanea, like I don't feel like I have any life of my own. I don't even know what she's taught me. She's taught me so much to love, to care, to be nice. I just love her. Oh. Hi, I'm Amber. I'm 21 years of age and I'm from Blackpool. And I have a gorgeous little boy called Brooklyn and he's now free. So since series three, I've not really been up to a lot. I've been trying to find a good job. Brooklyn's obviously starting nursery. Um, so yeah, it's been all exciting stuff, all positive stuff. So my relationship with Stay after series three finished, like there's never a stable, really, like there's never a stable connection type of thing with me and Stay. You know, it's just so up and down. I think the biggest change in my life since series three is probably just like how how much stable I am right this minute in time, like just realise that Amber, like you are one strong, independent, you know, woman, like you don't need no man to, you know, drive your life crazy. So the other mums and I, we speak quite a lot actually, you know, we speak about little problems, what go on in our life, we've got a group chat and it's actually nice to know that we have like, you know, four or five extra friends there, like for each one of us. My biggest lesson, what I've learned from series three, is maybe just to keep my mouth shut a bit. You'll see in the series, like the situations, what I'm in, and like, I'm not as rah, 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 as I used to be. Um, I kind of think like, you know, just calm it a bit, like calm it, calm it. My biggest goal right now is to find my dream job, you know, to find my Prince Charming, to give Brooklyn the best life ever, and just like literally live a good life because I'm, I'm fed up of like, you know, dwelling on the past and just like always feeling miserable and stuff like that, thinking like, oh, my life's not perfect. But what I've realised lately is, whose life's perfect? I think some of my fans think that, you know, just because I upload a picture of me smiling on Instagram or whatever, you know, they're like, oh, you know, you're beautiful, you seem so happy. And I'm thinking, just because I'm smiling don't mean I'm happy. I feel like a lot of people don't speak about it, but like, I'm not happy all the time. I think another one is actually, I only can see out of one eye. I bet nobody knew that, did they? Just having that extra time with my little baby, because thinking if I had a child when I was like 28 years of age, that's like, I've got an extra t eight years on top of that, do you know what I mean? Like what I've had chance to spend with my child. The worst thing about being a teen mum 
It's just all the judging what you, I seem to like feel like I get. The biggest lesson what Brooklyn has taught me is probably patience. It's just, it's just patience. That's what you need when you have a kid. Hi, my name's Chloe. I'm 20 years old and I'm from Nottingham. I have a beautiful little boy named Marley and he is two and a half. The changes between last series and now would be, we've got a new addition to the family. We've now been in the house six months, so we feel settled and it feels like a home now, finally. But we still are missing lampshades. So my relationship with Jordan since last series has been a bit of a roller coaster altogether. When we moved in, we were really great, and then it started kind of going downhill, but then we seemed to climb back up the hill and we're back on track. He's just stepped up. I haven't actually got one big achievement. I feel like I have quite little ones on this series. So we're in the house, we're all settled. It feels like home. I've lost a bit of weight. I haven't moved any mountains, not yet anyway. Just Marley's growing up. He just tell me no all the time, yes. His new thing, he tells me when he's done a poo. It's just crazy how fast they grow and learn. So me and the other girls on the show have a group chat. We even have Naomi in it. Like it's all the team mom gang and we talk all the time like about anything. So my biggest goals at the minute is to either go back to education and get some qualifications to become a midwife or I'd really like to start up my own business. I really like the idea of like adult and children matching outfits. So some facts that fans probably don't know about me is that I'm an opera singer. Don't ask me to do it because I won't, because I get all giddy. I haven't got the confidence like I did when I was young. The best thing about being a mom is when you're about to go to bed, you say na na and give you this big sloppy kiss and maul you and cuddle you. And then, obviously, the hard things about being a mum is still, for me, getting Marley to sleep for a nap in the day or night because he doesn't have a bottle anymore, he doesn't have a dummy, so he fights to stay awake when really he is desperate for a sleep. I think the biggest lesson that Marley has taught me since having him is kind of, I used to be quite argumentative and like if someone had looked at my friend, I'd have to get involved, I'd have to be like, no, whereas now I've, I've realised that you don't have to be like that. Like I've grown up so much that just every time I think about something before I do things, I think, okay, I'm a mom. Would my mom do that? 